Bolt of Magma? I mean, I could I could roll the Orb of Destruction into him, but... There we go. Bolt of Magma will do. Uh, the Sorcerer is coming into play, and you can have just Ignition of Poison. <laughs> yep. You got that right. Let's go up. There's an Ogre here, which is not exactly what I wanted to see. Um, let me see if I can just... Yeah, I like that. He's confused. Give him this, and he's dead. All right, let's keep looking around. A Sentinel's Mark. That's garbage. Just wait for that to get off, and... Another thing is, there's a possibility that I get... Oh, wow, I haven't seen an Orc High Priest in a little bit. I can't say that I'm glad to see it. But I don't think he's glad to see Ignite Poison. Oh, that's right. I'm not even done with this floor. Sometimes I forget the most basic of things like that. All right. Let's go up here. And I see that the other branch is below me. I could dig to that. But I don't see the reason to do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... Well, that was unnecessary, but whatever. This guy's dead. Let's keep rolling around. If I get enough money and get to the shops, I can maybe get a resist fire item to help with that fire dragon as well. It's not impossible. Hi, do you like poison vapors? What about Toxic Radiance? Have you heard of Ignite Poison? It's in my wheelhouse. Hello, how are you doing? I'm just going to keep using this smattering of spells until they all die. Alright. And let's go back over here. Rest. Okay. Let's go up. How are we doing? Oh, we've got two buddies. Two orc buddies. They're confused now, and they're dead. There's no confusion about how much fire I just put all over those guys. And inside. Inside and outside fire. Ignite poison. <laughs> okay. We're getting closer to the vault. There's the orcish knight. Here you go, buddy. That's what I like to call vapor. Oh, you're dead. All right. This is Vapors. You can actually just... Yep, 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 yep. And you guys can have that, and you're all dead. Okay, that's for you. You still coming? Yeah, you are. Good for you. It's the Warg. Take the Searing Ray. Ooh, you actually did take the Searing Ray like it was nothing. All right, I need to go get my magic points back. Excuse me for a moment. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of a little awkward. They're they're coming from both sides. I don't want to get flanked. I haven't explored to the south. Let me go take out this south and southwest branch. I hope it doesn't loop around, but I, I really want to just eliminate the possibility of getting flanked. Like, coming back to an area I think is safe, only to get wrecked. Not my favorite. Let me um turn off uh Where's my manual? Uh I'll turn off fighting as soon as the manual wears off. I got marked, huh? 27 shouts? Good God. I don't have time for that. No, this is a complete disaster. Get out of here. 
All right, this guy's on me. He's like, I see you. You do see me. But do you see that? Your own body turning against you. It really is, nice guy. That's why the Orcish Minds, if you can get OTR, you're just really happy to take on the Orcish Minds. And if you're fortunate enough to also get Ignite Poison, ooh, big guy. All right. Look at this. See, this is Rue coming up clutch. The Orc Warlord begins to attack, but is stunned by my conviction. See, just every once in a while, Rue just reaches in there and stops the guy from doing something. All right, so let's give him that, and we poisoned him. He's as sick as possible, so let's just blow him up. This, this, that. Yep, dead. Red Orgish Warlord, no problem. Uh, Orb of Destruction, by the way, is sitting down there at 6%. Ignition is at 69%. We're getting there. Oh, cool, Phil. Thank you for the recommendation. Let me write that down. I'll tell you what I actually just bought uh, on the Steam sale because it's been on my wish list for a while. I purchased uh, Loop Hero. It was 40% off on Steam. And I want to see it. I don't want to see that, Snack. I don't want to see an Orc Warlord with a crossbow at all. Low magic age. Yeah, Phil, I love roguelikes, and I had heard some good things about Loop Hero, so I, I pulled the trigger on it. I'm excited to boot it up. You've had some time to work through your backlog, Snack? Oh, man. I'm envious. My backlog just grows and grows. I'm like you, Phil. I just keep hopping around. You got Hades on Switch and the Civ expansion pack and Family Feud. It's bad. Sweet. Oh, you know what, Snack? Um, I actually uh, booted up... I think we got crying sons for free on epic and i actually did a few videos on the on the youtube channel of crying sons i enjoyed it too and then i somehow like phil's talking about got distracted started playing something else but should be playing that oh my god so the family feud that you have saint is that um Steve Harvey, or is it Louis Anderson, or which host are we talking about here? Keep disrobing? No, no, no. I meant to cast... Oh my god. Alright, that was awful. Okay, I almost died because of that. I meant to cast my spell D, not start disrobing. That's pretty funny. Um, all right. I'm still wearing all my stuff, right? Okay, good. All right. Scary. It's a really bad, stiff AI. How good is it when it says, survey says? Is that at least good? By the way, the idea of disrobing in front of enemies is just hysterical that you're just like a flasher you know like there's an orc warlord just charging you with a great sword and you just start lifting up your robes they're like oh my god come on man we don't need to see this
Yeah, Steve Harvey would be gold. <laughs> Dungeons and Dreadmore is really fun. And silly. And would have disrobing in the game. You're right about that, Phil. It, it Exactly, Phil. That's what I like about Dungeons and Dreadmore is like that it's just it's a game like this you know roguelike tile based dungeon all that jazz but it has a sense of humor Th this has a sense of humor too but not that kind Dungeons of Dreadmore it really was do you mean gateway as in like it was easier access than something like this and so it got people in Yeah, exactly, Snack. What was um what was that god that you would always like offer fish to or whatever in that game? That's right, loot fisk. Yes, that's right. Oh, Rue wants me to make a new sacrifice. What do we got? Courage, purity, or an eye? An eye? Please, give me an eye patch. What is this? What is this? Hey, what's up, Dinky Napbane? You're saying Dungeon Mans is pretty funny, too? Oh, you know what? I don't think I've actually played Dungeon Mans. I think I've seen that name floating around Steam and somehow not played it. Let me write that down. Low Magic Age and Dungeon Mans. Hey, nice guy. My pleasure, my friend. You have a good evening. Oh, okay, Phil, you're recommending Dungeon Mans too? Celasta is pretty good too? Oh my god, you guys are killing me. In a good way. I love having so many good games to play. Um, can you guys remind me? It's worth checking out, Dinky. It sounds good. I love silly dungeon crawl stuff. Um... Do you get to use Apocalypse at max... Do you have to have max piety, or does five do it? Because sacrificing an eye... Does it... It doesn't do anything to your spells, right? Like, I'm never... Or your wands... I'm never using a ranged attack on somebody, or a melee attack. So... I don't... I think this I might actually do this one. If I get Apocalypse at five stars, it might actually be worth it. Oh, six is even better. Ugh. Oh no, this is terrible. Courage is terrible. Oh, inaccuracy affects any spell that has accuracy? Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, a lot of spells actually do have that. Ah, this gives me Tourette's. It doesn't do anything. Spells like Oak, so Peacock's saying Iron Shot, Crystal Spear. Yeah, I don't think it is either, because honestly, look at what am I doing right now? I'm casting 
you know, Toxic Radiance and Ignite Poison, which don't need accuracy at all. And then I'm trying to build towards um, Ignition, and I have Orb of Destruction, which also doesn't use accuracy. The only spell I think that I really cast that has accuracy is maybe Searing Ray and Bolt of Magma, right? So let's do it. Let's get five stars. All right, everybody. We're going to lose an eyeball. We've lost an eye. <laughs> but um, we can do Apocalypse. Oh, I forgot that Apocalypse takes from your max HP. I thought for some reason it permanently drains your max HP to use Apocalypse? Bah! But I don't think I'll ever use it then. That's too bad. Oh well. Um, oh, not permanently? Oh, thank God. Okay. It's just, oh, I see it. It'll put it in yellow and in parentheses or whatever. Okay. That's fine. But if you're talking permanent, it, you know, like, I just can't hang, I can't hang with that. Get out. I'll ignite you. Don't make me do it. You don't want this. Man, this guy does want it. He's just standing there. All right. It's Blork the Orc. All right, Blork. Okay, it's just Re Revivify that does that. Oh, you know what I was thinking of, too? Um, was comparing it to... Didn't, like... Didn't Deep Dwarf used to have a wand? Like, it could recharge wands for a permanent MP or H... Was it MP or HP loss or something like that? I was kind of thinking about that for no reason. That's not even still in the game, I don't think. Okay, um... Yeah, that's right. But no, yeah, they, they don't have Wanda Heal Wounds anymore, so... That's not really a thing, is it? Here they come. The orcs just keep on coming. That's what it is, yeah. I, I like Deep Dwarf a lot. I think it's a good one. That damage reduction... All right, take that. I love how I'm getting these guys like one at a time, effectively. It's very strange. All right, here we go. Look at this. Okay. I'll put on some of this stuff uh, on the old shopping list. Shop number one. Not great. Uh, I mean, I do have a staff of death, so a book of death might come up at some point. Uh, I'm definitely going to buy the uh, scroll of teleportation. You guys think I should buy the 17 stones or the 21 stones? Or just get both of them? Okay. So, the Book of Fire. Let's see. I could get Starburst. And Fireball. Book of Fire might actually be worth it, given the fact that I've trained Fire so much. But maybe I want to have... Let's see. Hmm. Battlesphere. Okay. Lightning Spire. Pretty good. A lot of good spell books here.
All right, well, I'll get back to that other shop in a second. Let me just get all the rest of the stuff out of here. And by stuff, I just mean kill the orcs. Here we go. Yeah. Weapons. Weapons. Schmeppins. All right. So, unfortunately, we did not... This is another uh, part of Dun Orcish 1, by the way. We didn't get enough hit points yet to completely escape the wrath of the dragon. So that's bad. But we're going to keep trying. A warg. Alright, warg. You want to orb of destruction? Here it comes. Wow, look at those deals. Holy smokes, Phil. Thank you for letting me know about that. So, um, it, I actually think I own Tales of Majal. I have played that one a little bit. Adam is the one that I haven't played at all. Um... But Tales of Majal, I like that one a lot. I think I own that. Wow. Gosh, the steam sail. So powerful. Oh. That is a blown up warg. Purple smoke and blood everywhere. Fantastic. You gotta appreciate... what Orb of Destruction can do. All right, we'll just go down. And I don't know why I just came back up, but I did here. Oh. Okay. I'd love to get the hit points we need or an item, but we didn't get it. All right. Oh, God, how do I do this the right way? All right, so... I mean, I could prep teleportation, but I don't know if that's worth it. Yeah. I don't think I have any... I don't have haste. I don't think I have anything I can do except just go up and pray that I don't die. <laughs> Dr. Octagonopus, aren't you right about that? Oh my goodness. I'm neck deep in the steam sail. Alright, everybody. Well, let's just hope we don't die in one shot. Okay. It's a yak, but it's not the big bad guy so far. All right, let's try to get up the steps. Another yak, that's okay. Looks like there's a staircase up here beyond the yak. A couple of yaks. A lot of yaks. All right, no more yaks. Let's get out of here. Shoo, okay. Um, we're away from the fire dragon, and the lair is... Uh, let me see, where is it? It's on dungeon 10, which is this floor, which means I can get to it right away. 
All right, so let me go and... Um, I bet they do, Brew. On the way to a golden party hat. How do you... Um, I tried to remember... How do you leave an annotation again? Exclamation point. Thank you. Annotate. Um, no, I want to do uh, Dungeon 11. And I want to say Fire Dragon. Stand on the stairs. Oh, okay. Or like this. All right. Cool. All right. I just want to leave myself a note not to go down to Dungeon 11 until we're ready for the Fire Dragon so I don't, like, boot this up and forget and die because that would be sad. The next RuneScape stream, Dr. Octagonopus, is Wednesday, my friend. Try going down the stairs. I did a special case. Oh, cool. So it's, like, not even going to let me do it until I read this message from myself. That's awesome. That is how I want to protect myself because I'm foolish and I will forget. This is extremely helpful. Tactics Ogre is so awesome. I don't have my PSP anymore, but I still have my PlayStation Vita. Oh, cool. The exclamation point warns you. That is perfect. Thank you, Snack, for telling me how to do that. That's awesome. All right. Well, we're still alive. We're 10th level. We really sh might have been 12th level. Um, but we took a sacrifice from Rue. And if we look at ourselves, um, we've taken away our ability to be wear arm or train armor we lost some experience we lost an eyeball and we're clumsy we can't sneak up on things but hey we're all in the game with Rue and having a good time our spell situation is really really fantastic um ignition is down to 58 percent pretty good Spellfort Servitor 52. Um, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. The character feels good. We got that manual of fighting, so uh, we've been able to get some extra hit points in, which is extremely helpful. But it is indeed my bedtime, so we'll stop it here and pick this up again next time. Everyone, I want to thank you so much for coming in and helping me empty my bank account into Steam. I appreciate that. Um, I know, Dr. Octagonopus, isn't that the, the truth? Like, I somehow aim better than an 88% to hit sniper in XCOM, baby. Uh, anyway, we'll get into it. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to play some Hollow Knight. Wednesday, again, Dr. Octog Octagonopus, I will be on RuneScape. All right, um... Neo, Brew, <laughs> that's right, Pladcom, indeed, Brew. You're still alive, Brew, and your character's name, I believe, is Big Money at this point. Phil, it does, doesn't it? Saint, Phil, Brew, Neo, Dr. Octagonopus, Mr. Snackman, Dinky, Nice guy. Nick man. IBK. Everybody. Have a great evening. Yeah, Dr. Oct Octagonopus. I can actually stream... Uh, more often this week because I'm not doing any traveling, so it feels good. Take care, everybody.
My pleasure, Dinky. Take care.